new adopted baby just in time for the holidays. ABC Action News reporter Keely McCormick joins us in studio. And Keely, you talked to this family about their adoption journey. It was quite a journey. It took a long time to get to this moment. James, it did. Philip and Lacey Neary are so happy to finally be parents. They waited on the adoption list for over two years after finding out they would not be able to have biological kids. Today, Philip and Lacey Neary are calling baby Sarah Beth their Christmas miracle. I'm so blessed beyond words, you know, to, to, <laughs> it's a Christmas miracle, like it, it, it really is. We're just so excited to have her here and we do feel like she is the biggest Christmas gift we could have ever gotten. She liked whatever you just did. Philip and Lacey Neary, now also known as mom and dad this holiday season. The two tell me their lives will never be the same. When I got the phone call, it was, it was just like, did this really just happen? After years of false hope and waiting on the adoption list, the couple got a phone call that changed their lives forever. We got a phone call um, from our agency, and they just told us that they had a baby girl who was safe havened in the hospital. They now call that baby girl Sarah Beth. Philip and Lacey accepted the match that same day and drove to meet their daughter just two days later. Like, I love her. Um, sorry. Um, I just can't imagine my life without her now. They tell me it was love at first sight and feel a new overwhelming warmth in their home now that Sarah Beth is there. When you look at her and know that that is who gave you the title of dad, how does that make you feel? <laughs> oh, my. Um, dad, yeah. It's just, I'm just honored to be a part of her life. These tiny hands turning these two into mom and dad. A gift the Neary say was at the top of their list. I feel like I couldn't want anything more than this. And it is such a special time of year. You can tell by the look on their faces, this couple is just so excited to have her home. They said they may have a little special Christmas outfit for Sarah Beth this weekend. So, James, I'm hoping I get to see some pictures of that. Get him. We'll put him right here on the air, I promise. <laughs> She's so precious. It's a great story. Uh, you had mentioned that Sarah Beth was a safe haven baby. For those of us not familiar with what that is, Keely, can you walk us through it? James, well, the Florida Safe Haven Law allows parents to leave an otherwise healthy baby who is not in need of medical care at a safe place, like a police station, fire station, or hospital. In Florida, the baby has to be under seven days old, and the parent can drop the child off and be completely anonymous. This aims at preventing dangerous abandonment of newborns. I spoke to the executive director at a local adoption agency about how the time of year factors into their work. We tend to see more around the holidays, especially because it's cold. Um, but I mean, that's normal for us. She said her agency has not seen any changes since the Supreme Court's overturning of Roe versus Wade. We have more information about the adoption agency and safe haven laws available for you on our website at abcactionnews.com.